you for pressing play on this video today. I'm a personal counselor, a workshop speaker and a life coach. I can give you back your money. I could never give you back your time. And you are spending some time watching this. I hope I'm able to give you something of value. Personal counseling sessions that I conduct one to one with people who are dealing with emotional issues um, are very interesting sessions. Uh, they open my mind up and my effort at all times is to be able to listen to a person's history and issue and problem with an open mind without any judgment and uh, to the best of my ability be able to offer them a practical solution which they can immediately implement and benefit from it. So it could be something as serious as uh, a divorce or it could be something relatively small like, like a feeling of insecurity or not being good enough but my effort at all times is to give an unbiased, empathetic and practical solution. A lady came to me today and uh, obviously I'm not going to discuss the details like her age or name or uh, the status or the profile of what she does or who she is. Uh, but I just thought it was very important for me to share uh, the kind of stories that are actually going around in today's day and age. So this young lady has everything going well for her. She has uh, a business, she has a family, she has uh, support in terms of finances, she has support in terms of parents, um, she does not have any sort of stress in terms of expectations from her but yet she finds herself at a crossroads and uh, she came to me talking about how she is uninspired, not motivated, she does not want to do anything including lifting a finger to pick up a phone and answer some calls which are clearly important work-wise. She does not feel like waking up every morning. Uh, she does not uh, feel the need or the desire to meet up with friends, socialize, go out, do normal things uh, that other people of her age, she's in her early 20s, uh, would like to normally do. Had it been just a case of being not motivated, it would be uh, quite okay for her to change that attitude uh, with not too much effort. But uh, what bothers her is that she feels that there's something more serious going on and that's true she is borderline depressed the very fact that she is unable to get through a day normally uh, unable to motivate herself enough to get out of bed to uh, follow a normal life which all of us feel it is normal um, means that there is something within her which is stopping her from exploring life in an optimistic manner. So I got to talking with her and I realized that uh, what is plaguing this young woman is something that's plaguing most of us in today's day and age. The problem, for lack of better words, is according to me being stuck, stuck, stuck. Many of us are stuck where we are and we don't know how to move from that position. Let me explain. We are all, each one of us is born with a very specific purpose in our life. We are here to do something which is pretty unique. It could be something very simple like getting married and having two children and raising a family or it could be something a little more complicated like creating a new enterprise or making an entire economy work well. We are here for that very purpose and uh, if we don't follow that purpose but allow ourselves to be distracted or digress into a different field of work, uh, that could happen for many reasons including uh, getting affected, influenced or uh, overawed by people who we like, look up to or idolize. But for whatever reason, if we end up going in a direction which is very different from where we are meant to go, then we are clearly off track, we are not aligned with the purpose of our life and there comes. So what happens in this case is a very small part of us which is conscious is pulling us in one direction and a very large part of us which is subconscious is pulling us in a different direction and this tug of war between two parts of us one that we are conscious of and one we are not conscious of are pulling at each other in such a way that we get stuck we just get stuck in the place we are we don't know whether we want to go forward or backward or this way or that way and we are unable to move and that's what I call being stuck that's what I call being borderline depressed and why I'm calling borderline because if we become conscious about this then we do not have to fall deeper into that depression but the fact of the matter is that 
to be not this way to be not stuck we have to be conscious of both parts of our being so we have to understand that a very conscious part of me wants to go in this direction for example wants to be a business person business woman i want to create a business empire very consciously i uh, educate myself about that i learn things about that and then i start working in that direction but i should also be conscious of a very large part of me which is clearly which is completely aligned with the original purpose of my life so i have to give myself permission to ask myself what is it that i'm here to do and the only way i can find an answer to that is by asking myself what makes my soul come alive what is it that gives me so much happiness that i could do it for 15 18 20 24 hours a day and not get exhausted or just be physically exhausted but still so inspired to keep doing that and that anything that makes us supremely happy supremely uh, inspired supremely excited supremely confident and uh, raring to go that is the true purpose of our life so if for example i consciously decide to be a business woman but i do not allow myself to answer the question what is it that makes my soul come alive and i do not allow me to follow that even if it is for 15 minutes a day even to indulge that desire for even an hour a week then i am going to reach a point where i will be stuck because consciously i will be following a business plan and subconsciously i will be wanting to be say a tap dancer or a bharatnatyam dancer or a, a swimmer or a pianist or a singer but if i don't indulge that part of me which makes me feel absolutely stunningly alive and hopeful and happy then i will never be able to become the best possible business woman that i have the potential to be cutting a long story short I would request you if you are watching this video allow yourself to ask yourself what is it that makes me supremely happy and by all means go ahead and indulge that desire and when you feel completely satisfied and happy and excited and fulfilled and at peace that peace that joy that enjoyment that optimism that complete calm that you feel will be so energizing that it will clearly help you in doing what you are consciously deciding to do it could be raising a family it could be starting a business empire it could be making a lot of money it could be having great achievements but you'll never have to feel that this is not making you happy the happiness that you bring from the other side of your life you will easily carry that into your work into your plans into your goals and all your goals will be effortlessly and easily achieved and that my dear friend is going to be the point where you know that you will never be stuck for the rest of your life i wish you good luck thank you for joining me on this video today if you haven't yet done it press subscribe give me a thumbs up write to me about what you feel about this video i do take your comments very seriously and if per chance you do not decide to do any of them i still wish you a fabulous and happy life